Hey everybody, welcome back to another Marvel Legendary Progression Series video. I'm really excited for you guys to be here. Um, I know I haven't been posting a lot lately. Um, just, you know, life gets busy and I've been dealing with just a couple other things. But another thing I've been kind of working on is I've been trying to kind of figure out my groove. I kind of changed up my style a little bit. I was experimenting with a couple different things I wanted to try out. Because I wanted to, because kind of my goal is I want to bring good gameplay. I want to bring, you know, clear gameplay so you guys know what's going on. But I also need kind of to balance it of like, you know, I don't want to, you know, film the gameplay, then go edit it and just be like, oh my gosh, I have so much to edit. And, you know, I'm trying to find like kind of a good balance between that. So I think I found a good balance of what I want to be doing here and we'll see how it goes. But either way, guys, we're going to get into another gameplay of the progression series. We just finished up. Um, what was the last expansion I just did? Uh, Fantastic Four. We just finished Fantastic Four, which was a little rough, actually. I think I, I won two, lost, lost two. And now we're gonna be moving into Paint the Town Red. We're gonna be adding in five new heroes to the game, a couple, couple schemes, couple masterminds, things like that. And uh, I'm pretty excited for it. And I'm um, just gonna do something a little different here. Usually I do kind of a, you know, you know, I, I choose a hero, random, choose a hero, random, choose a hero. I decided that what I wanted to do for this one is I just wanted to use all the heroes from Paint the Town Red in one game just to see how they flow. I know. I think that's kind of what you would do, you know, when you get a new expansion, one of the first things you want to do is play with all the brand new heroes. And if, since this is the progression series, you know, I just thought that would, that's kind of in the spirit of it. And um, yeah, no, I just thought it'd be kind of fun. So let's uh, let's get started. You can kind of see the villains, the villains, and maybe if you can read read that, you can see this, what scheme we're do, doing today. But let's take a look at the heroes we got we got going on. Let's see. Let me get my card set up here. First first hero up is going to be Black Cat. She's pretty dang, I mean, I don't know. She's not solid, really. And I was about to say she's solid, but she's not really. Um, Pickpocket's just very, it's, it's so much variable in there. You really need some top deck manip manipulation to actually get anything really good out of it. Casual Bank Robbery is just kind of a slightly better um, shield officer. And her, un her uncommon is kind of the good one. You know, three attack, you can, you can manipulate the top card of your deck by discarding it or leaving it there. So she's got some synergy between herself within herself, but... She just isn't all that strong, and her rare card's kind of wonky, honestly. It just doesn't really fit the theme of what she's going on with. So, I'm not too excited for, for her, but we'll uh, see what we can do with her. Next hero up is going to be Moon Knight. He is just solid all around. Lunar Communion's great. Climbing Claws is solid. His uh, un Uncommon lets us draw a, card if it, draw a card from the top of her deck if it's a uh, Instinct or a Tech card. I, I, th I think he's just he's a well-rounded hero. You're not going to be, you know producing a million attack with him you're not going to be recruiting the whole hq but he is going to be there when you need him and he just provides a lot of great cards honestly i would say next up is going to be scarlet spider i think he is he's not he's not a traditional spider-man hero he doesn't do a lot of the t he doesn't do any of the top deck if it costs two or less draw it kind of a thing um he brings along perfect hunter you know well it only gives you one damage it does have wall crawl which is great you can get that Im effect immediately and it draws a card so it places itself so it's just it's absolutely valuable. I think, um, you know, any either of our players, either of our decks can actually recruit that, which is great. You don't need synergy in order to put it in your deck. Leap from above, you know, dishing out five damage is pretty dang amazing, I would say. And God, what's the what's the other one? I I'm kind of blanking on what this other. Oh, um, God, what is it? This is kind of embarrassing. I really thought I had had this all in my head. Uh, flip out. Flip out. No, flip out's a great one. One too. Uh, more more card draw. Wall crawl gives you that recruit boost. Pretty solid here, I would say. Next up is going to be Spider Woman. I think she's probably she's probably the strongest. I would say within these uh, five heroes we have in the new set. Um, yeah, you know, she, she has a lot of abilities to draw cards, which is great. And I think her her common card, uh, Radioactive Spider, is going to be kind of the golden card of this uh, of this gameplay. I think that uh, it does allow us to do that top deck manipulation. We have to we have to place a card on top of our deck in order to play it, so we can use that for. Uh, there's a lot of feasting abilities in the, in this expansion where we have to KO the top card of our deck, so we can kind of control what is KO'd. We can control what we're going to draw next time. We can mitigate that m mitigate that negative effect by pretty much all the pretty much all these heroes. They um either benefit from cards being on the top of the deck or we can draw it. And uh, her and uh, what is Bioelectric Shock draws draws a card if it has an attack icon on it. Her um, uncommon card, Venom Blast, lets us draw a card as a recruit icon. Just There's a lot of good card draw in this, I would say. And unfortunately, there's not a ton of top deck manipulation outside of Radioactive Spider within the set. So we might have to look back to our previous uh, expansions in order to get a little bit more of that. So I think as soon as we see Radioactive Spider, both of our players are going to want to be picking those up. Last hero up is going to be, uh, what is it, Symb uh, Symbiote Spider-Man. 
Uh, he is definitely the uh, the rough part of this. He's a very traditional Spider-Man card. With, you know, he cares about cards that cost two or less, and we just don't have a ton of them. Um, just looking over this real quick. Well, we have Flip Out. We have Pickpocket with, with Cat Burglar. I think that's... Oh, no, and Radioactive Spider through here. And then, of course, his cards cost two or less. So um, I think that... It, it, the really rough part about it, it really depends on how many of his cards pop up in the HQ. If we get a decent amount of them, then I think we can recruit them and we can kind of work with it. But if it's just, if it's only two that pop up and maybe some of the weaker ones, then it's just like, okay, do I really need this? Is it really going to help me? Or is it just clogging up the HQ? Is it, it going to clog on my deck and slow me down? So yeah, well, th this, this is one we kind of have to kind of keep an eye out for and see what happens. Um, let's see. Okay, so those are the heroes we got set up. I'm pretty excited to have them. Just a, as a reminder, at the end of the game, we are gonna we're only gonna send these guys on a one week vacation because they're brand new. We want to get them back into the pool as quickly as possible. So um, we'll, we should be seeing we should be seeing these probably in uh, not next gameplay, but in the third or fourth gameplay of the expansion. So we will, won't be seeing they won't be gone for too long. Uh, let's move on to the villain side of things. The mastermind we have is gonna be Carnage. Nine HP, pretty you know pretty low I would say. You know usually once you hit the 10 plus that's when you kind of have to kind of like you know okay we'll see you know what we have to do in order to fight him um his master strike we do have to, each player is going to feast on the top card of their deck if that card costs zero they, uh, each player is going to gain a wound so it's really rough because usually feasting on those zero cards is what's really great about it being able to ko those helps thin your deck out get some more powerful cards up closer to the top but carnage uh it gives us a negative and a pretty big negative it actually gives us a, a card that's worse than our uh, great cards so um, could, could be a difficult one, and, we, and the, uh, the problem is since they uh, occur on Master Strikes, it's really just a random roll of the die. We can't really do a, a lot of top deck manipulation before that Master Strike shows up, so could be difficult. Uh, moving on to the uh, scheme here, we do have a Weave a Web of Lies, so there's going to be seven twists of the villain deck. Uh, the special rule is whenever you defeat a villain, you may pay one recruit if you do rescue a bystander. You can't fight the Mastermind unless you have a bystander in your victory pile for each twist next to the Mastermind. Uh, when a twist is drawn, we just stack it next to the Mastermind. When the seventh one is drawn, we are going to lose. So it's just kind of a ticking time clock. Kind of depends on the shuffle, really, in terms of if we win or lose off, uh, due to the scheme twists. And we just need to have enough bystanders under victory pile in order to match the amount of schemes that are drawn in order to fight Carnage. Usually not too difficult. Paying one recruit usually usually isn't the biggest of taxes for us to, for us to gain bystanders. So um, I'm not too stressed out about that. Like I said, it just kind of depends on the shuffle. That's what's going to really determine it. Um, let's see, moving over to our villains, we do have the required one, which is going to be the Maximum Carnage villain group. They are, um, a lot, they, they all, they all focus around the feast mechanic, so we're, so every time we fight them, we are going to KO the top card of our deck. Some of those give us some negative effects of this, um, uh, for example, here, here, uh, Shrike here, uh, has basically the same thing as Carnage. Uh, when, when, uh, she feasts on a zero cost hero, each other player is going to gain a wound, so... There's, I would say there are a little bit more of a diff. They are a more difficult villain group than most of them, I would say. Um, yeah. So, anyways, I'm, I'm not too stressed about it, but we'll, we'll see how things go. Uh, randomly chosen one is going to be the Subterraneans. Um, they're not too tough. They do focus around the burrow mechanic. When we fight them, they are going to basically come back, but they're going to be moved to the streets. So we want to keep the streets either full, or there's some uh, some of them that we want to kind of manipulate, and we want to. Uh, we want to fight them when they're not in the streets, move them to the streets, and then fight them again so we can get that benefit. For example, Moiloids, when we fight them, we do get the KO cards. We want to get that ability twice, so we don't want to hit them in the streets for the first time, but maybe, but at least for the uh, the second time. So yeah, another villain group I'm not too worried about. Uh, the henchman group is going to be the Maggie Goons, and I think I think the Maggie Goons are the most popular uh, henchman group on this channel, I would say. I feel like I've used them in so many setups, but yeah, four, four attack, do have the bribe mechanic, meaning we can use attack and recruit in order to defeat them. And when we fight them, we do get to KO one of our heroes. So we have a lot of KOing abilities, I would say. We have Carnage, who's feasting on it. Maximum Carnage is going to be feasting more. Um, the Subterrains have a a a one of the villains that can um, help us KO cards. Maggie Goons help us KO cards. So I think we're going to be able to get a deck that's nice and thin pretty dang quickly. Um, so as long as we keep up the uh, up collecting bystanders, I think we can take our Carnage pretty quickly in this situation. So I'm going to get these cards shuffled up, and we're just going to jump right into gameplay. So let's. Uh, I'll see you then. All right, everything's all shuffled up. Let's uh, let's get the HQ set up. Got ourselves a climbing claw. Another climbing claw is good. Like to see that venom blast, radioactive spider, great, and elite from above. So two uncommon cards costing six, which is a little rough, but we do have some very low costing recruit cards, which is really nice to see in the HQ nice and early. Um, we just need to make sure the city doesn't get filled up too quickly. But I think this is a great start. Like I said. 
pretty much both players can grab either one of these and be pretty dang happy. Uh, climb Claws does require a instant cure in order to activate to get a little bit more recruit, but still it's just a shield off so that we can get effective uh, ability quick, um, get the effect immediately because it does have wall crawl. So let's uh, pass it on over. Let's pass it on over to Miles here and let's see what we got going on. Top card of this is going to be a Megatar. So it's going to have an ambush effect. It is going to capture two bystanders, which is great for the, uh, for the uh, scheme we have set up and he does have the burrow mechanic so let's play out here we do have five recruit that we can work with we could pick up both radioactive spider and climbing claws in the situation i don't think they work they don't work incredibly well but i think i value radioactive spider just a smidge more so why don't we do that one first so we can see what's going on so let's grab radioactive spider this doesn't have a wall crawl so we'll just stick it right there for right now and let's get it replaced with a ooh, a dark strength hmm so uh, it's the first symbiote spider-man would uh, let's see so reveal the top card of your deck if it costs one or two you get plus two so uh, notably it doesn't do, it isn't two or less that is a huge huge difference we do have we did just recruit a two costing card which is really great man this is kind of a big decision here i would say i could just pick up a climbing clause but that is going to lower the amount of two costing cards i have in my deck in order to kind of get the ability of dark strength activated more often man I think the safer bet is just to grab climbing claws in this in this situation, but it could just I could risk it. It is just a trooper, and if it gets KO'd, but there is a lot of KO in this uh, in this setup, so I could just get rid of it if I don't need it. Yeah, you know, just for just for experimenting purposes, I think I am gonna go down to one, and I'm just gonna grab dark strength here. I'll wall crawl it to the top. It is just an extra attack. How do I need to? Actually, it is a May ability. You know, I'm not going to wall crawl that. I don't think we're... Right now, we're, we can't hit Megatar next turn, and we can't guarantee that the next card is another card we can hit. So let's get that replaced with a Perfect Hunter. Not too shabby. And uh, I think that's going to wrap us up for right now. All right, let's pass it over to Harrison here. Looks like he's going he's gonna to have the 4-2 for the next couple turns. Top card is going to be a Master Strike. So we are going to feast on the top card of each of the decks. Let's see. Let me just make sure I got... And uh, look, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> okay, well, I guess. All right, well, I guess I don't have to worry about it. Dark Strength just got KO'd off the top of Miles' deck, and we did have an agent that was KO'd, so that does mean that Harrison is actually going to be getting a wound. <laughs> that was, that was kind of funny. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> All right, anyways, let's play out here. Um, we do have four recruits. We could pick up a Perfect Hunter, which is just a good card overall we do have climbing claws there as well i think we're i think we want to be fishing with our recruit here so let's grab perfect hunter here and we are are going to wall crawl that to the top let's get that replaced with another dark strength huh okay well i'm still not excited about it now especially now that one's got ko'd already so i think i'm gonna need to see two two more symb symbiote spider-man cards maybe, maybe one more in order to actually be excited about it so let's just pass it on over all right passing to miles looks like we got the three and three top card is going to be looks like we have a giganto so seven attack when we fight it we are going to draw an extra card at the end of the turn and it does have burrow okay let's see what we got we got three recruit and i think we're faced with the exact same decision here with dark strength and climbing claws and i'm i'm kind of leaning toward climbing claws like i said i should i probably need to wait until i see another one because one got ko that means there's only there's 13 thir there's well there's 12 other symbiote spider-man cards in the hero deck now um, yeah, I think we're, let's spend three. Yeah, I think we're just going to grab Climbing Claws for right now. Let's put that to the top and we're going to wall crawl that one. And it looks like it's got replaced with a Lunar Communion and that should wrap us up. All right, passing on over to Harrison here. Top card is going to be another Master Strike. Woof. Okay, let's get this, everything set up for this. All right, looks like we got a Operative and a Trooper. Okay, so that does mean both players are going to be gaining a wound apiece, though, which is which is rough. The two Master Strikes nice and early. It's going to slow us down by quite a bit. Well, let's play out our Perfect Hunter. We are going to draw ourselves an Agent. Not too shabby. Uh, we can't hit anything, so let's just play out our four Recruit, and let's contemplate here. The only, let's see. The only card that Harrison has currently is the Perfect Hunter, so we can kind of grab whatever we feel like. I feel like Lunar Communion could be a good pickup if we uh, do get to KO cards if we fight villains on the rooftops. Or we can actually, no, 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 I think we're going to spend one or three. Let's grab Climbing Claws here because um, we already do have an instinct hero. We can already activate it and let's place that on top of our deck so we can get the get the bonus next turn. And another leap from above. God, HQ's getting a little, little heavy, I would say, but luckily we do have Climbing Claws in order to help us to recruit through that. 
All right, looks like we got quite a bit of recruit this game. Wow, that's pretty dang awesome. Okay, top card is going to be a scheme twist. Okay, so no negative effect there. Let's grab the blue die. So now we just need one bystander in order to hit Carnage here. So yeah, we could just do it. Wow, okay, so let's play Radioactive Spider. We're gonna place the Soldier on top since we're not gonna be able to use it this turn. That does give us six, seven, eight, eight recruit and not a single rare card in sight. <laughs> that is just painful, I would say. So Venom Blast can do quite a bit. Let's see, Miles doesn't currently have any instinct heroes that he's recruited so far. So Leap from Above isn't the most effective. That's probably for Harrison at this point. And Venom Blast is a little more effective in the early game because it does draw Recruit. So I think we're gonna go down to two here and let's pick up a Venom Blast. And it does have a wall crawl, so we're gonna put that to the top. And let's get that replaced with another Climbing Claws. I do have two left, I could get Dark Strength here, but I think it's just gonna be a brick in my deck as of right now, I don't have a, let's see, I mean, I guess I have one two costing card, but it's just a, it's just the Trooper, honestly, so. Yeah, I think we're just gonna, I think we're just gonna pass it on over. We don't have a sidekick to pick up, but we haven't gotten those yet in the progression series, which is painful, super painful. All right, pass it on over to Harrison here. Do got a wound in hand. Let's see if we KO this turn. Top card is gonna be a Carrion. It's four attack, feast. So when we fight him, we do feast. Whenever Carrion feasts on a, on a hero that costs one or more, it's gonna return to the sewers. Okay, let's see, two, three, four, and five. So we can get five recruit. And that means we can grab a Lunar Communion or we can grab, grab a Climbing Claws. City is three out of five filled up. I could pass and just and KO the wound, which is not, I mean, it's pretty decent, but I think what we're gonna do, I think we're, I think we're gonna go down to two. I think we're gonna grab this Lunar Communion for right now. I think I just want, I want another, I want another Instinct card in my deck so I can activate all the previous ones that need it. And we do have a Venom Blast to replace it. And I think we're just gonna let that two, two float, float go away. So let's pass it on over. All right, we do have a decent amount of attack here, which is pretty decent. Top card is going to be Scheme Twist. Okay, so that means we're gonna go up to two now. All righty, well, let's play our Venom Blast here. Top card is going to be a Wound. So we're just gonna leave that there. That's actually great, actually. So let's play this out. We're gonna have five attack and three recruit. And yeah, we're gonna go down to one. And let's take out Carrion here. So that means we are going to feast. Let's see, here they cost one or more. Put Carrion back in the series. So we are gonna we're gonna feast and we're gonna get rid of that wound that was right there. Great move. Yeah, that's awesome. Really excited about that. Um, okay, for the three recruit, yeah, I think we're just gonna spend the three. Let's grab climbing claws. I think we're still in the phase that we want we want at least a little more recruit, especially with uh, three of these sixers in the HQ. And another radioactive spider, great. Excited to have that. I think uh, Miles will probably, or Harrison will probably be picking that up next turn. All right, pass it on over. We got two wounds in hand, so I don't, ugh, maybe we might just be passing to KO both of those. That's a good opportunity. Top card is going to be another Giganto. Okay, well, let's just contemplate here. So we could play out this. We'll end up with three attack, which we can't do much with. And we can get, what, four recruits? So that'd be a radioactive spider, and that's about it. So I think we're gonna pass, we're gonna KO both of these. I think it's a good opportunity to take, so let's pass. All right, pass on and over. We got plenty of recruit this turn, which is nice. Top card is going to be another carrion. Okay, well, let's just play out our recruit here. Four, five, six, and seven. Once again, if only there was a rare card. <laughs> let's see, so we could just pick up another Venom Blast. That's not the worst idea I've ever had. And I just realized we have two, man, we definitely need another, we need an instinct hero on Miles' deck because he has two copies of Climbing Claws right now. So there isn't any there. Um, yeah, I think we definitely want to pick up a six or so. Let's spend, let's spend that. Let's grab another Venom Blast. We can draw these Climbing Claws actually off of it. And we're going to play, there it is. There comes the rare card, Sting of the Spider. Five attack, whenever you put a card on top of your deck this turn, you may draw that card. Pretty solid, and I think anybody's going to want one of those, especially in combination with Radio After Spider, so. Let's pass it on over. All right, passing on over to Harrison here. Top card is going to be Maggie Goon. Okay, let's see. Got to figure out what we want to do with this recruit, actually. Okay, so currently, I think we're gonna put we're gonna play out the attack because we do have a Maggie Goon we could possibly take care of. So we could go. Let's see. Down to three. That would give me two. That does work out really great. It'd be nice if I could get a bystander off of it, but. I think this radioactive spider is just is just too good. So I think we're gonna go down to three. Let's grab ourselves a radioactive spider. 
And let's get that replaced with a spider senses tingling. Okay, so that is another symbiote Spider-Man. Do the top two cards of your deck put any of the cost two or less? Okay, so that's a two or less, which is really great. Oh, man, I really wish Dark, St Dark Strength was two or less instead of one or two. That's just... Anyways, um, so we do have enough to hit the Mega Goon. I think that's what we're going to do. We do have a pretty high, high city and the Megator is right there. So let's take out Mega Goon and we get to KO a card. Let's get rid of an agent and let's pass it on over. All right, pass it on over two miles here. All right, top card is going to be another Maggie Goon. Okay. So um, let's play our, let's see, I, so I could, I could play Radioactive Spider and place a card on top, or I could place an operative on top and hit the Carrion so I can feast off of it. Let's see, do I need the Recruit? That would give me five Recruit, which isn't really gonna be doing me much. I might grab the spider sense possibly so i don't really need a ton of recruit this round so i think i think we're going to play the venom blast first giving us three attack top card is going to be a soldier we'll leave that on top let's play out the rest we're just going to go up to five so we do have not enough to hit carrion which is good and we could take out the maggie goon actually as well hmm. so let's play radioactive spider we're going to place this operative on top We'll play that out as well. So now we have four. So I think we're going to do, we're going to go down to one. Let's take out Carrion. Oh, wait, if it's a zero cost. No, 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 it's one or cost. He goes back. Okay, so yeah, let's take out the Carrion. We're going to feast off the top, which is an operative. And then we could fight and take out. Yeah, man. Yeah. Okay, let's spend. Let's spend oh, no, here we go. Actually, let's spend all but one and one attack. Hit the Maggie Goon. We'll spend the one to rescue a bystander as well. So take him out. KO the operative. And we got ourselves a paramedic. Hmm, I don't think there's any wounds anymore. Nope, no wounds in either discard pile. So yeah, so we just rescued that. So we have one one uh, bystander in Miles' deck now. So we could, oh no, we do two actually to do that one. So pretty effective turn that we got. What, is that three KOs? Or just two, I think it was just two. Anyways, all right, let's pass it on over. All right, let's pass on over to Harrison here. Got a good amount of non-grade cards which is great the top card is going to be a megatar it's going to capture two bystanders got ourselves a radio radioactive scientist and a bystander okay i really want to hit that because i'm a little it's starting to stress me out just a smidge but i don't have a ton of attack here okay so we can place a card on top we can wall crawl we don't have any feasting that feasting that are going to be doing much currently we can make two three four and five attack with just one more and i'd be really happy with that Okay, so I think what we're going to do, I think we're going to play Perfect Hunter first. Draw ourselves. Nice, a trooper. Okay, good. Okay, let's play this out. Going up to three. Play out our three attack going up to six. Not too shabby. And, man, let's see. God, I really don't like my HQ right now. It's just too high costed. Which is difficult. I think I could grab a Spider Sense and it might help me out. You know, it's not as detrimental, I would say, and we do have ways to KO it. So, anyways, I think what we're gonna do, let's spend six, and we're gonna take out. I guess I could do radiation scientist here. Now, let's let's take out the Megatar right on this side. So, uh, the streets are filled, so this is going to burrow, and we rescue two bystanders. So we're now we can we are now able to hit Carnage right now, and let's see, I can do I can get three recruit right now. I can grab the spider sense. I think we do have an, I think we have enough gray heroes in our deck that, that could be helpful for a little while. So yeah, let's play Radioactive Spider, place the agent on top. Let's pick up, let's see, so that was a three. I guess I could have, dang, okay, I messed that up. I could have, uh, I should have played that, fought the Megator and I could have got a bystander. So anyways, let's go down to one. Let's hit the spider since it's tingling, or recruited anyways. And let's get it replaced with a dark strength. Oh man, these are killing me. These are killing me. Okay, anyways, let's uh, pass it on over. All right, let's pass it on over to Miles here. Top card is going to be a Master Strike. Okay, let's get ready for this. Looks like we got a Agent and an Operative. So that means both players are going to be gaining a wound apiece. Okay, okay let's see what we can do here. Let's play, uh, let's play Venom Blast first. Top card is going to be an Operative, so we do get to draw that isn't too shabby so let's play that out we do have five attack we can work with and we have one two three four and five recruit Ugh! really wish that was six 
And we can't fight anything with a five attack. We could recruit a dark strength, which is not fun, but I might just have to accept our fate on this. I mean, it is it is just a trooper at its base, and our attack our attack output is a little low at this point. We haven't been able to hit. We've only been able to hit the Megatar one time, and that, and that was off of a lucky draw. So okay, I think I think we're gonna eat our vegetables here. We're gonna let's grab dark strength here. Um, sure, let's walk crawl to the top, and let's replace it with a Jinx. Okay, I do like seeing that. Do I want two dark strengths in my deck? Man, I don't think so I don't think I do I could potentially I could potentially give that over to Harrison because he does have the spider sense already but I have the three recruit right now I don't know I'm not sure what would you guys do I'm kind of curious what you guys would do I think what I'm gonna do I think I am gonna spend one and just pick up the dark strength and just kind of accept my fate and it's, okay, place with, with uh, climbing claws. Okay, I think we're just gonna find when, when the goons come up. I think we can effectively maybe KO those dark strengths. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Okay, losing five attack isn't happy, but let's scooch it on over. All right, we got recruit as far as the eye can see. Not too bad. Top card is going to be. Looks like we got a Devon Goblin. When it uh, let's see, when it ambush it just capture a bystander. Got ourselves a news reporter, so we do get to draw a card when we fight that. But let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, good old seven. And guess what? There's a sting of the spider just sitting waiting for us. So we are, I think, yeah, we're gonna recruit that. I mean, it's just five attack straight up. You can't say no to that. Let's get that replaced with radioactive spider. Great, ooh. Okay, so Harrison's really gonna want that now, actually. Okay, let's pass it on over. All right, let's pass it on over. Got those dark strengths in hand. Top card is going to be a scheme twist. Okay, so that's just gonna bump us up to three. Not too, not nothing to worry about too much. Okay, let's see. Can we put anything on top? Not really. We could reveal first before we do anything, or we could wall crawl something to the top. Let's see. I gotta remember that. I feel like maybe I probably haven't been taking advantage of that. I could recruit this climbing claws and put that, get that into my hand. Let's see. I have one, two, three, and four. I only have four, and I want to save that for. Um, Harrison so yeah I think what we're gonna do let's play our climbing claws into an operative so it's gonna give us three recruit let's spend all three of that let's recruit the climbing claws we're gonna put that on top of our deck we're then going to play venom blast top card is going to be that climbing claws and let's see let's play out both of our dark strengths top card is a radioactive spider no way it actually worked so I'm gonna get three attack for both of these. We don't draw this, we just reveal it both times. So we're gonna go one, two, and one, two. Wow, is that incredible? <laughs> oh wait, no, one, two, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, nine, wow. Okay, then let's play this out. Not activated yet, we do have a three recruit, and we haven't replaced this yet. So, boop. Got a Crescent Moon Darts, okay. Let's see, so we do have nine. Do I have enough? What is it? This is Miles. Now, currently I only have one one bystander, so we can't take him out yet. But we could take out the Megatar. Or I could take out Giganto. But I think we want that burst of. Yeah, I think we want the burst of. Sure. Yeah, so let's go down to three. Let's take out this Megatar. So let's see, so we got that, got the bystander, got a radioact radioactive uh, scientist. We do get to KO a card from one of our, from our hand. Oh, let's see. Discard, uh, KO one of your heroes or a hero from your discard pile. I don't have a discard pile right now, but we can get rid of a operative. And then let's spend one. We're gonna rescue another bystander. It's nice, another radioactive scientist. Not too shabby at all. Let's see, I can KO one of my cards. Let's just get rid of this operative as well. Mm, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, and then that is gonna leave me with three and two that I can't, I can't really do anything with, so I think we're just gonna pass it on over and be pretty dang happy, honestly. All right, pass it on over. We did get a lucky shuffle. We got Sting of the Spider now. <coughs> Excuse me. Top card is going to be Master Strike. Okay. Ooh, lost a Lunar Communion on Harrison's side and an Operative on the other on Miles' side. 
So Miles is going to be gaining a wound. Ugh, that was not really fun. So um, let's see. I don't think there's a way for me to put anything on top of my deck right now. I can get up to five. Let's see. Go two, three. Okay, so let's play this out. We have two, three, four, and five. So that means I could get a Crescent Moon Darts or a Jinx. I think both are pretty viable options, I would say. Let me think. I think, yeah. Probably the Crescent Moon Darts just draws a card. And does and, and really, really the big part of it also gives us top deck uh, knowledge, which could inform our opinion if we want to do feasting abilities or wall crawling abilities, things like that. So I think we are gonna spend five, and it gives us a three attack boost, which Jinx does as well. Uh, we're gonna do Crescent Moon Darts, get that recruited, and let's get that replaced with a Thwip. Not too bad. Okay, so this cost two, gives us four attack, which is great. To play this card, you must put two cards from your hand on top of your deck. So lots of times that isn't a, a, too big of a deal. Whichever one has a little more card draw. I think Miles has just a smidge more card draw, so I think Miles want, might wanna be picking that up. So, um, okay, so our recruit is done. So we're gonna play this out. We do have six attack now, and I think we're yeah I think we're just gonna go down to one. Let's hit the the demogoblin, and that is gonna give us a, a news reporter. We do have to draw that card. Got ourselves reaction spider, and that's not actually gonna do anything. So we can't even play it actually. So it's gonna pass it on over. Okay, pass it on over. Pretty sad hand. Yeah, it's a pretty sad hand. Uh, top card is gonna be master strike. Man, okay. Let's see what we're going to be dealing with here. And, oof. Oh my gosh, that. Miles lost a Venom Blast. Harrison lost a, uh, a Spider Sense, which isn't a huge deal, but man, that Venom Blast. Oh, that's painful. No wounds handed out, but still very painful. Okay. Could do a little recruiting here if we wanted to. We could pick up this Thwip. Which I think is a genuinely good card. We could do Thwip and Radioactive Spider. That's a lot of cards going on top of our deck, though. Losing that Venoblast isn't isn't awesome. That was a card I was kind of banking on. Hmm. Well, Miles does have a slight two cost two or two or one costing theme, I would say. Man. Yeah. So we're gonna play Radioactive Spider. Let's put a let's put a soldier back on top. That's going to give us four recruit, and I think we're going to go two, pick up Thwip. And let's get that replaced with a pickpocket, and let's spend, man, we could grab pickpocket, which isn't too shabby. Yeah, oh, I think we're going to do that, because I think I, I want, I think I want... Do I want a hair snap radioactive spider that mainly only works with one card in his deck is the, the rare card? Nah, I think we're gonna spend two. Let's grab a radioactive spider. We can always pick up a pickpocket basically whenever we want. So and let's get that replaced with a perfect hunter. And I think that's gonna wrap us up. Alright, passing over to Harrison. Another stinker. Man, we haven't had Carnage yet. That's kinda stressing me out. Top card is gonna be a Maggie Goon. Okay. Let's play our perfect hunter. I'm gonna draw a card. Got ourselves an agent. So let's play out. That's gonna go one, two, three, or three, one, two, three. And it looks like we're just doing three and three. Do have a wound in hand as well. Could just take out a goon here. I don't think I really want pickpocket. I think uh Yeah, I think uh, I think Miles wants that. So yeah. I think we're going to spend three and one. Let's take out the Maggie Goon. And then we're going to uh, we get to KO an agent. And we're going to spend one to rescue a bystander. Got ourselves a standard one. And I'll pass it on over. I think both players have enough bystanders that we should be able to hit Carnage basically at any point now. All right, let's pass it on over to Miles here. The top card is going to be a Raktar, the Mullen King. Ambush any villain in the streets moves to the bridge. Um, push any villains already there and he has the burrow mechanic Okay, we could take advantage of those uh, gigantos drawing us extra cards, but we'll see what we got Okay, so I could play reactive spider I basically redraw the climbing claws, which would be too bad or I could risk it and play it and see what I get I think we're gonna go for the guarantee here. So let's play reactive spider We're gonna place this on top, but then we're gonna play the venom blast to draw it 
So we do have three attack and three recruit now. Let's play out the rest of this, going up to six attack. And the climbing clause is gonna give us an extra two recruit. Okay. So we could pick up the pickpocket and maybe the and probably the perfect hunter. We could probably leave Jinx beside it. Really pumps me out. We haven't picked up any of the either of these leap from above. <laughs> um I have six six attack. Let's see, so yeah, let's spend one. Let's grab pickpocket and let's put that on top of our deck. Get it replaced with a casual bank robbery. And yeah, I think we're gonna spend four. Let's grab perfect hunter. We'll put that on top of our deck as well. Got ourselves another pickpocket. And with the six, I think we're uh yeah, let's just spend two. There's four. Let's hit Raktar. Scooch more over to the over, over to the streets from the uh burrow, burrow ability. And I think that is going to wrap us up. All right, passing over to Harrison here. The top card is going to be a Scheme Twist. So we're up to four now. Okay, so we could just get the guarantee. Let's see, three, four. Let's see, get that. Three, four, five, six, seven. It's not too shabby. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to play Radioactive Spider, placing the Climbing Claws on top. We'll play the Crescent Moon in order to reveal and draw it, though. Okay, so it looks like we got three, four, five, six, and seven recruit. Ooh, there we go, seven, and we have four attack. So let's spend four, hit Raktar, taking him out. We can spend one to rescue a bystander, which is just a standard one. And then let's go down to one. Yeah, let's go down to one. Let's grab ourselves a Jinx. Oh, wait, hold on. Five, I had six, I had six. I guess I could get leave from above. I am kind of sad that I haven't gotten that yet. <laughs> yeah, no. Let's spend six. Let's grab a leap from above. And we will wall crawl that to the top. Get replaced with another Jinx. And that should wrap us up. All right. Pass it on over. And we got a lot of stuff we could be doing right now. Okay. Top card is going to be a Demogoblin that is going to capture a bystander. Got ourselves a news reporter. Okay. We do have the Thwip. So... I do have ways to draw and gain attack off of it. Okay, so what we're gonna do, man, that wound is just kind of sad. Okay, so we're gonna play with whip. Let's give us four attack. We have to put two cards on top. We're gonna put our climbing claws. Do I wanna do the climbing claws? Yeah, yeah, let's just do the climbing claws. Okay, so we're gonna play our pickpocket, revealing that climbing claws. We do get the C, so you get attack equal to the cards printed uh, recruit and attack values. So we're gonna go by two for that. And then we'll play perfect hunter going up to seven and we're gonna draw that climbing claws. And we'll play that, just gonna give us two recruit just in case. And we can't hit carnage right now, but I could hit one of these gigantos. Do I wanna draw a card? If I draw a card, it would need to be a recruit card. I guess it would be a climbing claws. So I could go up to four and that wouldn't give me really all that much. Actually, it's, oh wait, this is activated. I forgot this is an instinct card. So we're actually up to three. So I could get up to six, which would give me a leap from above. So what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna go down to two. Let's hit the Demogoblin. Uh, oh wait, oh wait, but it's gonna make us feast. Ooh, I hope I didn't miss a feast trigger off the last one I fought. Hmm, there's a slight chance I did. Hmm, okay, Um. let's see. It's gonna feast the top card, which is gonna be the climbing claws. Dang, that throws a big wrench. Round seven. Dang. So it would feast on the climbing claws, and then it would just be a random card. Right? Because I would just draw from the news reporter. Mm. Dang. I didn't think about the feast. I should have put the wound on top so I could guarantee that. Okay, so I think we're gonna spend seven. I think we're just gonna, oops, spend seven. Let's hit the Giganto. Taking him out. Yeah. Taking him out. So I'm gonna draw an extra card at the end of my turn. Actually, oops, sorry. That was here, so it's actually gonna burrow over there. So we're gonna draw an extra card. And I got the three recruit. I think we're just gonna spend one. Let's grab a bystander, which is a regular one. And unfortunately, man, that would've been really cool, but I really don't wanna lose, I didn't wanna lose that climbing clause and just draw a random card. Hmm. I don't know if I made the right decision there, but that's what I'm gonna go with. Do I want, I guess this is miles aside, isn't it? So let's actually spend one. Let's grab a pickpocket here. Oh wait, oh man, oh my gosh. Why am I, I am so bad at this. Man, do I want to rewind. 
because I could do the pickpocket. Feast on that. Draw that. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna rewind this. Yeah. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the rewind button on this because I I'm, I'm just being an absolute idiot. Okay. So four, five, six, seven. This was up to three. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna go one. Let's grab the pickpocket. We're gonna put that on top of our deck with the wall crawl ability. Let's get that replaced with a Lunar Communion. We're then going to go down to two. We're going to fight the Demogoblin. Oh, wait. I'm assuming... So there's Feast and there's the News Reporter. I think both these triggers go on the stack at the same time. Either way, I think this would actually be on first either way. So I'm going to fight him. We're going to do the Feast ability, which is the Pickpocket. So that one's gone. And then we get the News Reporter. It means we can draw a card. Got ourselves a Climbing Claws. We're gonna play that, going up to five. We're gonna spend that five, and we're gonna grab ourselves a Jinx. So we didn't get the we didn't get the leaf from Ova, but we at least got the Jinx. And let's get that replaced with a bioelectric shock. And that should wrap us up. That's gonna be my one rewind for the game. Alright, let's play out here. Okay, we do have Sting Sting of the Spider, which is good. Top card is gonna be a Shriek. Uh, six attack feast. Feast on a zero, uh, a zero costing card. The other player is going to gain a wound. Okay. I don't have, currently have a way to activate this, which is a little rough. So, do I have any recruit? I have one recruit. Okay, so let's play Crescent Moon Darts. Top card is going to be a trooper, so it's going to stay right there. But we know it's a trooper on top now. Let's play our Leap from above. Going up to six. Let's play Sting of a Spider. Going up two. Uh, it's going to go up to 11. And then we have one extra attack and one recruit. And we do have a wound. Okay, so I just want to double check here. I need four bystanders. One, two, three, four, four. Wait, do I exactly four? One, two, three, four. Oh, five, five, five. Okay, so I can hit Carnage and not have to worry about it. So nine, 10, 11, 12. Let's go down to three. Let's hit Carnage for the first time. Okay, we got ourselves. Feed me. We're going to feast. Uh, you get you get plus recruit equal to the cost of the card the carnage feasts on. He's gonna feast on that trooper, so we don't get any recruit off of that. But we do have our first hit on carnage, which is good. And I think it's gonna just wrap us up right there. Okay, got a lot of green right now. Top card's gonna be a, a goon. Okay, so I could react to spider and put dark strength on top, and then use this dark strength to reveal the dark strength. That would give me three and three. So I'd end up with four and four. So I could do the goon and I could recruit. I'd probably just recruit the lunar community. Actually, that's not the worst idea. There is, man. Yeah. So we're gonna play reactive spider. We're gonna place a dark strength on top of our deck. We're then going to play a dark strength, revealing the other dark strength. So it's gonna give us three and three. And then we're gonna play the rest out. So we have four and four. So we're gonna spend four, take out the goon. My opposite side. We're going to KO the operative. And we're going to spend one to rescue a bystander, which is a standard one. And then we'll spend three, hit the Lunar Communion, and we'll wall crawl out to the top, replacing it with a Lunar Communion. And that should wrap us up. All right, let's pass it on over to Harrison. The top card is going to be a Scheme Twist. We're up to five. Only two more, and I lose. So we gotta put pedal to metal here. I could get the guaranteed draw with a radioactive spider, but I don't really have any attack. We're just recruiting this round. So how do I wanna do this? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So currently I would have eight. Which is pretty intense. I could get leap from above to go on top. Six, seven, eight. That would give me two left. Hmm. Yeah. So um so we're gonna place so we're gonna play reactive spider let's actually put climbing claws on top and then we're going to spend six we're gonna recruit leap from above i guess does that give me anything five six it would give me six. Oh wait but then i have to feast on let's see so wait i put a i put climbing claws on top so that means we would piece on the climbing claws. 
That's fine, actually. I'm fine with that happening. So we'll spend six, leap from above. It's gonna go, whoops. It's gonna go on top of our deck. Then we're gonna play the Perfect Hunter, giving us one attack, and we're gonna draw the leap from above. Let's replace that with a Shadowed Spider. Um, then we'll play the leap from above, which is activated, going up to five. So we're gonna go up to six total. Then we're gonna spend six. We're gonna hit the, shri the Shrike, or Shriek. And we have to feast, and we're going to feast on the Climbing Claws, which I'm fine getting rid of at this point. All right, and that should wrap us up. All right, our first not all non-gray hero hand. <laughs> all right, top card's going to be a Goon. Okay, let's see what we can do. We have one card draw. We have one reveal. So I could do some recruiting here. I have a couple options here. Let's see, we need both of those. I want to get those both of those activated. So let's do this. So we're gonna play the Lunar Communion first, giving us two attack. Then we're gonna play both of the climbing claws, giving us a total of six recruit. And then, like I said, I have a couple different ways to draw cards right now. So hmm, I could go with so yeah, let's go down to one. Let's pick up a jinx. It's gonna, oh no, that doesn't have a wall crawl. Hold on. <laughs> no, six. So in terms of the wall crawl, I could go any of these. I think we're gonna go down to two. Let's grab a bioelectric shock. We're gonna wall crawl out to the top. We'll then play the perfect hunter, going up to three. Let's see, that isn't a two or one or two costing card. Place that with a pickpocket. Let's, um, so we play perfect hunter. We're gonna draw ourselves that bioelectric shock. I could let's see I have two left so I could pick up this, the shadowed spider it would, it would just give me two attack which isn't the worst um, I could do the pickpocket let's see I think I want either one because then I can get the dark strength trigger let's uh, let's spend two yeah let's grab a shadowed a shadowed spider we're gonna put that on top of our deck. And then let's play the Dark Strength, revealing that same card, going up to six attack. Then we're gonna play the Bioelectric Shock. Oop, let's get it replaced. Um, going up to eight. We're gonna draw ourselves that Shadowed Spider. Let's play it. Uh, let's see, actually, let's play the Venom Blast first. One, two, and three. Top card is gonna be, ooh, a Radioactive Spider. Do I need the three recruit? I could put the Shadowed Spirit on top, but I can't, I can't play this. I don't think I really need the attack, do I? So we're hit Carnage's turn. 9, 10, 11 only gives me two. So yeah, I think we're going to play the Radioactive Spider, putting this, putting this on top of our deck. Giving us three recruit. Okay. So let's go 9, 10, 9, 10, 11. Let's go down to two. Let's see. It's gonna have a feast ability. If I lose Shadowed Spider, am I sad about that? Hmm. I guess I'm kind of sad about it. Hmm. I could recruit one of these other wall crawl cards and put it on top. Maybe the pickpocket. Let's go down to one. Let's let's uh, put let's recruit pickpocket, putting that on top. Let's get that replaced with a perfect hunter. Then we're gonna go down to two we're gonna hit carnage uh yeah i got plenty of plenty of bystanders top card is gonna be an endless hunger feast if carnage feasts on zero cost hero this way you repeat this process okay so all right feast off the top we gotta get rid of that pickpocket so we don't have to reveal anything more so we're left with two and two we could ko a card with maggie goons I could recruit the flip out. <coughs> and if I was going to KO something, I'd probably just KO the climbing claws just to get rid of the recruit. Because we don't really need it anymore. Let's uh, let's spend this four. And we're going to hit the goon, taking him out. And we'll get rid of a climbing claws. And that should wrap us up. All right, passing over to Harrison. Top card's going to be... A doppelganger. His attack is equal to the hero to the cost of the hero and the HQ underneath them. He does have feast. Okie dokie. 
Let's see. So we could get the... Actually... So we'll play the Scarlet Spider, giving us five attack. Whenever I put a card on top of our top of the deck, <laughs> whenever I put the card on top of the deck, I do get to draw that card. So play Radioactive Spider, placing this on top, get to draw it, which is pretty great. Then let's play Perfect Hunter, going up to six. We're gonna draw ourselves a card. Got ourselves a leap from above, nice. That's great. Let's play the leap from above. We're gonna go up to 11. And let's play the rest out, going up to 12 and four. So. Uh, let's see. Let me just triple check. One, two, three, four, and five. Yes, yeah, so we have five on Harrison's side. So go down to three. Let's hit Carnage. Eh. Got ourselves a drooling Jaws. Each player reveals the top card of the deck, then Carnage feasts on the player of your choice. Okay. All right. Uh, Harrison and Miles think we'll just we'll feast on the agent. Okay, so we just need to hit him two more times and we will win. Got four recruit to work with. I think we're just gonna spend the four. Let's just uh, let's pick up this perfect hunter. We'll wall, wall crawl it as well. Replace it with a casual bank robbery, and I think we're just gonna pass it on over. All right, pass it on over. Hmm. Okay, top card is going to be a Scheme Twist. Okay, so we have six, so we could lose out of nowhere now. Whew, the stress is real, I'm not going to lie. So our main thing is we have to hit. We want to hit this guy. For sure. Let's see. Okay, so first we're going to play Thwip. It's going to give us four attack. We have to put two cards on the top of our deck. We'll place Climbing Claws and Radioactive Spider on top with a Radioactive Spider on the top. Let's play Dark Strength, revealing that Radioactive Spider. One, two, three. Let's play this, go up to eight. Play this one, and it, uh, any one or two costers. So one, two, three. Uh, one, two, and three, 11. Nine, 10, 11. Go down to two. Spike Carnage. Got ourselves an om nom nom. We're gonna feast. So we got rid of the reactive spider. Cards feast on zero cross here this way. Each other player key has a bystander from the victory pile. So we're good there. Okay. And I think that is going to wrap us up. Okay, I think I got it as long as this isn't a scheme twist. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh my heavens. I'm double checking. There's no, oh my gosh. Two, three, four, five. Oh my gosh. Six, seven, oh my heavens. There wasn't an extra scheme twist here and I miscounted, right? Gotta be kidding me. Oh my heavens. Wow. Oh my gosh. I think this, this has happened, I think, twice so far in the series. Where the last card is what did me in. Ah, I had it. I totally had it. Play the perfect hunter. Draw, I don't know, whatever. We'll draw another perfect hunter, I guess. I don't know. But anyways, one, six, nine. Hit carnage and win. Oh my gosh. Wow. Man, that's that's pretty rough. Well, um, well, Miles kicked some, I mean, Miles kicked some serious butt. I was kind of worried that, I don't know, I was worried at one point that I accidentally mixed up cards, but I but I didn't mix up any of the gray heroes. But anyways, um, no, I think I, I think I got it all right, but sheesh. Oh, my heavens. Wow. Okay. Well, anyways, guys, I know that doesn't come as a giant shock. <laughs> anyways. Let's move on with my life. Um, okay, guys. So, wrapped up. That was the first game in the Paint the Town Red. We did a f we did sadly lose against Carnage. He did successfully weave a web of lies, and we have lost the game. Um, had a great time though. That was pretty fun actually. I, I think I think part of part of why I lost. I think I could have maybe been a little more efficient with my turns in terms of the top of the top of the deck and using wall crawl to my advantage. I feel like about halfway through the game, I was like, wait a minute, I could wall crawl first. I could recruit first because usually. I usually attack and then recruit. I think that's generally my pattern, I would say. Um, 
but just reversing that so I can put cards in the HQ on top of my deck so I can KO them. Maybe I probably could have done that a little bit with the symbiote spider spider cards as well. I think that was kind of a big mistake this game. So either way, guys, I can't believe I lost on We Will Whip Eliza. I mean, it is just, it is just, you know, you know, luck of the shuffle sometimes. Anyways, rambling, rambling, rambling. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope uh, this kind of new format that I'm shooting for is going to be kind of the standard from here on out so you guys can stop getting whiplash from all the changes I've been doing. <laughs> but uh hope you guys enjoyed it, guys. Uh, I'll see you next time. And I ended, uh, actually, before that, just as another reminder, um, all these heroes are only going to be going on a one-week week, week vacation because they are brand-new heroes. I don't want to be sending them on vacation for too long because we want to see them again sooner. So, anyways, with that said, guys, hope you have a great day. Keep your heads up. I'll see you next time.